Hello and welcome back to our all-time Premier League tournament. So we have the final semi-final leg today, Chelsea versus Arsenal. And yeah, so as of the end of the day today, we will know the final. So if you haven't watched the other videos, go down below. You're going to have to watch those first. I will spoil the result. Man United did book their place in the final last episode when they overcame Tottenham Hotspur 1-0 away. So today is Chelsea versus Arsenal, an, uh, an all-London encounter, so here we go. Chelsea, the lower seed, will be looking at them first, so Aiden Hazard and Didier Drogba up front. I realized that a 95 Hazard was a bit unfair, so I made him down to a 92, which is still really good. It's just, I thought, if Ronaldo's a 94 and he's arguably the best player of all time, why should Hazard be a 95? And also, he only scored one goal, so it didn't impact the game a ton. But apologies to anyone who didn't like that. So Rude Hillett there in the center forward cam position with Frank Lampard SEN on the sides and Angolo Conte, the highly rated Frenchman holding down the fort. As Pilacoita in right back, David Luiz is here. But here we go. You'll see here. I'm putting in Ivanovic because you guys unanimously voted Ivanovic over David Luiz in the last one. John Terry, Ashley Cole, and then if I can find him, Petr Cech. But Zola McLeary, uh, the center forward and midfielder, David Luiz, the Brazilian, along with William, Pedro Matic, and then Thibaut Courtois. Diego Costa is not in the squad. He got a hat trick on his last time out, so I think it would be a bit unfair to not even bring him to the game after he came off the bench and got a hat trick. And I'm thinking of putting him in. Pedro. So at all time Chelsea squad, attack in midfield 91, defensive 88, so still really strong. Here's an all time Arsenal squad, so 95 Thierry Henry and a 98 in right, got medal matches last time out. Dennis Bergkamp behind them, Ozil and Vieira on the sides, and Sisk Fabregas in the middle. Kari Sagna and Cole Torre on the right hand side of the defense, followed by Sol Campbell and, Campbell and Tomas Vermeulen. And then the icon Lehman in between the posts today. Aubameyang and Aaron, Aaron Ramsey, both 90 rated on the bench. Alexis Sanchez, who did have a really good spell with the Gunners, and then Lucas Podolski. Laurent Koscielny, Theo Walcott, then Wojciech Szczesny, filling in the rest of the spots on the bench. Then pretty strong reserves, Lacazette, Giroud, Lomberg, Gervino, Ajaka, and lastly, Per. Mertzacker. So the all-time Arsenal squad coming with the 90 attack, 91 mid, and 86 defense. So technically the all-time Chelsea squad is stronger. And I mean, I kind of do think they might win this. I won't be surprised if it goes either way. I saw this in the last one. It's a really close game. But I mean, Chelsea tore apart Everton last time. And I know Arsenal is a much stronger squad, but Chelsea have a much stronger defense. But Arsenal, I mean, they have 95 tier and re. Can they really hold that back so it re and they're using the same formations it's just a really interesting encounter so without further ado let's get into it Stanford Bridge will be today's venue after Chelsea clinched home field advantage I explained the point system in the last video so go check that out if you haven't already here we are Stanford Bridge today Aiden Hazard the Belgian to get the ball rolling and I do favor Chelsea I am backing them in this I not saying Arsenal out of it I just think Chelsea Henri, Henri, is he away on goal? Henri, and Henri! Scoring early on for Arsenal at Stamford Bridge, 12th minute. Really kind of solo, isolated run, just tore down the wing, and there it is, opening goal. Really early on in this game, and I was talking about Chelsea's stronger defense, but just got by Ivanovic, couldn't close him down. He had options across, but didn't need him. So there it is, the Frenchman strikes, and one nothing to Arsenal in the 13th minute. Arsenal are playing with a lot of pace in this game. All their players, a lot of pace. Could that lead to early substitutions? I don't know. Could it lead to fatigue and maybe lapse of concentration? I don't know. As Ozil is off the right. Henri again. Is that that could have arguably been the game? But Petr Cech punches it out. Sen with it. Espelicueta with it. Sen. It and it to SCN to Hazard, just not powerful enough, just couldn't lift it off the ground. Maybe he could dribble a little and potentially lay it off to Drogba, but just didn't have a ton of time for Malin. Had a lot of the possession today. 
He back seals it to Vieira. Vieira and Vermeulen have been working together for not only today. Bergkamp. Fabregas. Ozil has options. Shoes. Ian Wright as he lays it back to Sagna. And there it is. Bakari Sagna, the right back scoring. I thought Chelsea still had a chance. Arsenal were playing really well. And here you can see it. Laying it off. And Bakari Sagna, the right back, finding the near post at a really tight angle. Of all people, Bakari Sagna to score the second for Arsenal. And could this be it for the Blues? Bakari Sagna, the goal scorer, hugging the touchline. No one's on him. No one's on him. Could he send it across? He will, but Petr Cech punching out. Ooh, Thierry Henry in the box to Bergkamp. That, surely that's it. Three goals put by Chelsea, by Arsenal, in the first half. Right before halftime, and Dennis Bergkamp delivers. Surely that's it. Surely that's the game. 3-0. Away from home, but apparently doesn't matter. Still in London, same city. Looks so like Henri just had in the box, thinking it's going to be a dangerous strike, but no. He very unselfishly lays it up to Bergkamp. There it is, half time. 3 0 going to the break. I was not expecting this. Hey, like I said, it could have gone either way. I was back with Chelsea, but I did say it could go either way, and I think I said that for a reason here. It's, re I mean, Arsenal is really capitalizing on their shots, shots on target. I mean, Chelsea had more of the possession, so I mean, it's still a close game when you look at it on paper and all. It's just Arsenal are capitalizing much more than Chelsea are. Fabregas on the edge of the box to Henri, to Vieira, the deflection, but Conte getting rid of it. Approaching the 70 minute mark, three goals apart. So Chelsea have been much more out of it than the first half. I mean, first half they were still attacking, getting a lot of chances, like at the break when we looked at the match facts, it was still reasonably close on paper, but they're just not getting that many chances, and Arsenal have kind of slowed down the tempo, so they're just going to defend for the last... For the rest of the game, who knows, Mesut Ozil. Mesut Ozil playing it up. Ooh, Petr Cech just punching it out to possibly prevent another Arsenal goal. And Ramsey will be coming on for Cesc Fabregas. And McAuley will be coming on and Conte will be making way for him. Ramsey, first touch on the ball from the Welshman. Ooh, great little cutback. Ramsey. Ramsey still with it. And he's marked his appearance. I was just going to say, could he mark his appearance? But once again, Stanford Bridge will be seeing a super sub impact. It's flipped though, it's reversed as Aaron Ramsey steps on the pitch. First touches on the ball, beautiful cutback. Just taking on the entire unit of Chelsea's defense, blasted by Petr Cech. It has had a good tournament, but it looks like it will come to an end. Beautiful strike there. There it is, Aaron Ramsey in the 90th minute, and that is it. 4-0 to Arsenal at Stamford Bridge. They're away from home. They had a weaker defense, so maybe the stack, odds are stacked upon them. There it is. Confirmation. Three blows from the referee's whistle. Arsenal 4, Chelsea nothing. That's off from Stamford Bridge. See you in... Not actually the final. Third place match is going to be played first. But... So... Arsenal have booked their place in the final against Man United, so that should be a great game, the first and the second seed going up against each other. I know that's kind of like predicted, uh, that's kind of how I was expecting it to go, but that should be such a great game. In the third place playoff, Chelsea vs Spurs, don't forget about that. If it went the other way, it would have been North London Derby, but Arsenal, they want to be in the final instead of a third place playoff, of course. So yeah, that's it. The final will be on Friday. And third place playoff will be on Monday. So stay tuned. The tournament's coming to an end. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to anyone who's been watching it this whole time. And it's not over yet. It's just things are just getting heated now. So for nothing, that's off of Stanford Bridge. So we got our records for today's semi-final encounter. Arsenal 4, Chelsea, nothing as you can see on top of your screen. Thierry Henry coming with man of the match. He got a goal and he got an assist. He's done it all. And then with that 9.2 match rating, Ian Wright was also a serious contender. Honorable mention, he got two assists. No no light work. 
top scoreless, Diego Costa still at the top, but he's been eliminated. Ian Wright with two goals. So, he could potentially overtake him in the end. Who knows? And Burkett with two as well, so they're both real contenders. Rudvin Nistelrooy with two as well, then Thierry Henry coming into the one. Sagna, Ramsey, and Rooney all level on one. Sagna, the first defender, scores this tournament, so thought I'd mention that. David Silva, Luke de Jong, Paul Scholes still there down at the bottom. Best in Drogba following in right, and then Thierry Henry with his single assist. Vermeulen, Hazard, and Ozil, and then followed by Cesc Fabregas. Tevez, Lampard, Cole. Then Conte, Essien, and Kane. Lastly, Ronaldo, Vidic, and Shearer. So that's all for today's encounter. I hope you guys enjoyed. The third place playoff is coming out. That will be out on Monday. So stay tuned for that. And then followed by that is the final. Can't wait. So it's been a really fun tournament. Be sure you're watching all the videos. Tell them all your friends. Because it's been fun to make. And it's fun to see an impact on the community. See you guys next time.